Hey guys, uh, you'll remember this from the last video. Okay, so we had it where if we pressed it, the light would constantly stay on. Now, <clears throat> inverting is basically what inverting means, changing it to the opposite. So, sorry, I'm out of breath. <clears throat> if I inverted the switch, it would be on. And then when I press it, it'll go off. It'll count to one and go off. Because it's inverted, it'll be off when it's got one in, and when it's got not got one in, it'll be on. So now if I put it on the reset when I press the button, it will actually go back on. So basically it makes it the opposite way round. Using these basic tips, you'll be able to build a big level full of logic just these little tiny things will help to create a final big piece of logic that you'll enjoy <laughs> okay next I'm going to show you how to make something go on and then after a certain time limit go off 